choose the tools menu and then options to display the options dialog box. In the view dialog box, we can display or hide the cell grid lines and we can change the color of the grid lines. We can choose to show or hide the scroll bars, rows and column headers, formula bar, status bar or sheet tabs in our worksheet as we work. Let's leave the defaults on and click the down arrow button in the color box and choose bright green. The grid lines will now be that color. Select the general tab. We can display or hide the list of recently used files that appear in the file menu. We can also change our font and font size. We can specify the default number of worksheets in our workbooks as well as the default file location our files are saved to. Let's leave the default settings. Click OK to see our change. Add-ins are commands or functions that add special capabilities to Excel. To install an add-in, choose the Tools menu, then Add-ins, and select the checkbox next to the add-in we want. If the add-in we want isn't listed, we would choose the Browse button to locate it. However, the option we want is already visible. Choose Autosave. Notice a description of the add-ins appear below. Click OK. Select the Tools menu. Notice that Autosave has been added to the menu. For now, double-click Autosave to turn it off. In the Autosave dialog box, we can change the defaults if we like and click OK. Now click the Close button and choose Yes at the Save Changes prompt. With the Enroll Workbook opened, Select cells A1 through F8. Click the Format menu and choose Auto Format. Notice when we choose a table format from the list, an example is displayed in the sample box. Select 3D Effects 2 and click on the Options button. By clicking the Options at the bottom of the dialog box, we can change the format. Accept the default settings and click OK. We can clear an auto format immediately after choosing it. Click the Edit menu and see the Undo Auto Format command. We don't want to use this command, so press Escape to close the dialog box. Clicking the Undo button on the standard toolbar will also remove the Auto Format option. We can also choose the None options under Table Format in the Auto Format dialog box. Click the Format menu and select Auto Format. Choose None from the list and click OK. The Auto Format option has been removed. Before printing the worksheet, it's a good idea to check the spelling. With the open dialog box on screen, click the spelling file and then click on OK. When the document opens, click the spelling tool on the standard toolbar. It's the ABC with a check mark. In the spelling dialog box, choose the Add option. This option adds the selected word to the dictionary in the Add Words to box. Ignore leaves the selected word unchanged. Ignore All leaves the selected word unchanged throughout the sheet. Change makes the changes to the selected word in the Change To box. Change All changes the selected word throughout the selected sheets 
to the word in the Change To box. The Suggest button displays a list of proposed suggestions. This button is dimmed if the Always Suggest box is selected. Always Suggest displays a list of proposed suggestions whenever Excel encounters a word that isn't in the dictionary. Ignore uppercase skips words that contain only capital letters. Undo Last undoes the last spelling change. Click the Close button to end the checker. In this chapter, we changed Excel's display and we applied an auto format. We spell checked the worksheet and we altered the colors in the workbook.